Who's that? Pull back. <sighs> okay, hello guys and welcome. It is that SW2 dude here today bringing you yet another episode of the Tearing Up series where you guys in the comment section tell me what weapons to use and tear it up with and whatnot. Now, yes, I know it's been a month. I say this absolutely every single episode since I've done a Tearing It Up series episode. I, do, I say it all the time. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I get a little bit annoyed myself for saying this so much. But. Yes, it's been a month, but it's not why I'm saying right now. It's because you guys are actually a bunch of memers, and I love you very much for that. Thank you very much for uh, providing me with such chaotic energy and all that jazz. But, huh, what, like, I mean, you guys already know what's about to happen. Like, I can't even show the weapon because the weapon is not in... It's not even here. I don't have the weapon here. You know why? Because the weapon's the Rainmaker. You guys have told me to tear it up with the Rainmaker for whatever reason. Uh, I just need you guys to understand. There isn't really much to, for me to explain in this video, but I feel like I'm gonna just go ahead and use the Splash Up Pro anyway, and play Rainmaker, and try to get grab the Rainmaker as much as possible, because so, I guess I can tell you guys about the Rainmaker why, while I play the game, I guess. Just to, you know, I'm gonna basically play an ob objective person. Alright? I guess this, this is just a joke because I don't pick up the, You don't- you guys don't see me pick up the Rainmaker as much or anything like that because whenever I do a tearing it up, I'm trying to show you guys the weapon and all type of type of stuff and, you know, even when I stream, sometimes I just want to play uh, a weapon. Which, you guys should definitely go ahead and check out. Twitch.tv slash the ISW2 dude. We stream from Wednesday to Sunday. Uh, quick ad. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna use the Splash Up Pro today since it's been like three years since you guys seen this weapon, so we might as well again. So, let's get into it. Okay guys, so here we are. Now, I'm actually kind of glad that Muscle Forge Fitness is in the rotation. Uh, because there are many things I would love to explain with you guys about this map. Please, do not bring it forward. Always try to commit to bring it right. The only time you should be bringing the Rainmaker forward on this map is when you get a full wipe, you've already picked it up, and you have enough time to actually, you know, pick it up, get through the bridge, and then, uh, get it get it through basically but if anything there is no reason for you to be bringing it okay well that guy's taking the rainmaker all the way over there <laughs> okay most of the work is already done for us wow okay well uh we probably won i'm supposed to be picking up the rainmaker uh but it seems like my teammates have other uh other plans instead now i'm just gonna watch us spawn. i'm just looking at where the squeeze is going you know, this guy I'm literally just gatekeeping at this point. I'm gonna toss a thing there. Hopefully I don't die. Get high ground. That spider shot's very weak. He jumps out. Hey guys, I'm supposed to be picking up the Raymaker because I'm apparently supposed to be tearing it up with the weapon. Uh, but we are pushing very, very hard. I'm gonna actually just cloud this out. Seems like we're double clouding at this point. What was that? <laughs> I mean... I guess we'll just continue. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you guys saw what I just saw with that inkjet, but that was uh, a little bit suspect in terms of lag. Either way. Uh, toss the point sensor there. I get killed by the ends up. That's actually good shocking from that guy, so... Uh, not so bad at all. We just have to, like, watch this left a little bit better. I really want to be the one to pick up the Raymaker, but I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get the chance in this game, so... Um, I mean, that's fine with me. If I'm, I'm, I'm all about f being able to frag and all that type of stuff, so it's it's not a problem. Uh, I'm not pushing just yet because there was a squeezer in a, uh, a more prominent position, so I don't want to, like, expose myself and then just die for no reason. The Bob is dead. Uh, it should just be the squeezer there. Oh, actually, you know, that is the squeezer. Oh, that was strange. Just don't die. There we go. These guys are definitely Japanese. That's probably why the there is like a uh, difference in lag, I guess. Okay, well, I'll mark. I'm gonna have to give up that position, but it's fine. Oh, squeezes one. There he goes. Oh, inkjet. I can probably camp the jump at least. Just wait for a second. Camp the jump. No drop roll, please. Okay. 
Ah, Squeezer! Ah, he got himself in a good position. I can't believe he forgot he was actually still there, so... Yeah, I mean, I could have pushed to the right side, but it wasn't going to really do much. Like, we kind of had to stall it, so, I mean, it's perfectly fine. Squeeze up. Yeah, these guys are definitely Japanese. <laughs> I died behind the wall right now, dude. We should be able to stop that. Our spider shot's going to stop that perfectly fine. Uh, this guy's pushing in pretty deep. Where did he just go? They're all just jumping in here, right? I'll toss my point sensors out. So I know there are two guys there. There's a third. One is very, very weak. Point sensor's out. They're actually jumping back as well. Point sensor there as well. I know there's still one somewhere on the left. I can actually hit him. Well, I'm hitting him. Mm -hmm. Zap. Squeezer instead. But the zap killed me instead, unfortunate. Or the splatter shot. Uh, not so bad. We kept the splatter shot dead, so there's gonna be a punch in the middle still. We need to just, we probably just need to get some control in the middle. Guys, as much as I want to pick up the Raymaker right now, it, it does not seem like it's gonna happen in this game, because I can't get close uh, at all to actually kill these guys uh, with the weapon I have. Especially if the amount of paint that they're also producing at the same time. It doesn't help my case at all. Uh, Plus, I'm also trying to position myself in places that it's actually going to be more beneficial for my team, too, so... Uh, apologies for that. Well, not really, honestly. <laughs> I'm just play I'm just trying to play well, honestly. Um, I toss the cloud out. It's going to paint up mid still. I get picked off by the squeezer again. Uh, he's actually going to position himself right... Well, he's just I mean, I think... Honestly, at this point... I see what's happening. Is that... Oh, come on, the RNG for me was not there. Oh god. Stingray... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get killed here. I forget that uh, that squeezer actually has a stingray. That's actually kinda... It kinda shocked me that that was the case. Uh, I just wanted to mention why my teammates were also keeping it on the right side there. It's just that on this map, uh, once you've got a pretty solid lead, it's good to keep it in that position because it's basic you're basically stalling. Uh, just basically stalling the Rainmaker for a good amount of time, so, uh, just in case you guys didn't know that, that's something to keep aware of, like, so, if you get, like, a good start, 20 points or something like that, if you keep it on that right side of the map, uh, in Muscle Force Fitness, it's, it, you know, it's basically GG, because it makes it really hard for the enemy team to even pick it up from that spot, because we spawn on, in that area too, so, uh, yeah, I shall see you guys in the next lobby. Right guys, tearing it up with the Rainmaker, and we didn't even get to pick up the Rainmaker. So, this is going well, very very well so far. Uh, like, I mean, this is what you guys asked for, so I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. We, we, do, the, we do this series to explain the weapons, but... You guys wanted to tearing up, me, wanted me to tear it up with the Rainmaker, and you know, I mean, this is what you asked for, I'll do it! <laughs> Alright, so let's go again, let's try and get this done. Always try to go for the insta pop. Why you should be doing that? Because you get instant map control in the middle, so uh, that's always good. Also, times for when to, for when you want to pick up the Rainmaker uh, is usually when you get at least one person down. Uh, it's actually always a good indicator that oh, the enemy team. Well, most of, most of the time, the enemy team decides to like start to back up after that uh, when um, you pick up the Rainmaker. Well, once you kill someone and then you pick up the Rainmaker, it's like you know. It, it kind of gives you more security that you know that people aren't going to be, like, uh, trying to challenge you head on and all that type of stuff. But right now, just trying to keep my people safe. There is a... this guy. Oh my... oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I hit him twice. I thought I was actually going to get the kill on him, but he just went right through it, so... Doesn't matter. We do get the, the push to 13, which is good start. Uh, and thankfully, since we did pop the Raymaker at first, and we got a great first push, we still have a lot of map control in the middle, which is good. Uh, Spider Shot instantly dead. I'm actually gonna, like, slowly make my way over here because the majority of people are on the left. Oh man, we actually gotta be very careful about this. Tossing a cloud instantly. I do like that I know where this person is. One shot, there we go. Well, it wasn't really one shot, I just hit all my shots at one, but... You know what I mean. Sort of. Um... Killed the Spanish Pro pretty easily there. We don't have a lot of map control in the middle there. And the Rainmaker is positioned on the left. Uh, which isn't so bad. I mean, it's... It allows the, the enemy team to pick up the Rainmaker, but... It's 
Well, they haven't picked it up, which is good. So we can go ahead and go straight for the pop. We get map control again right in the middle. Uh, map control and somebody also gets like a full special, especially when it's not painted in our color or it's just not painted in general. Uh, I got the Raymaker in hand. I didn't want to pick it up, but I'm picking it up for the series. Uh, there's a guy behind us there. Yeah, I'm gonna die instantly. I needed someone to help me, uh, like, lead the Rainmaker, but it's not gonna be- it's not the worst thing in the world. It's more in a- it's in a much better position, uh, than what it was before with, uh, the enemy team kind of being all around in the middle, so. Not so bad. Uh, I think it's best for me to just kind of paint this area here. I'm gonna try- I, I wanna get close to a cloud. And it doesn't seem like we're wanting to pick it up again, so. Point sensor down there, it marks one guy. Oh, that is a Photoshop Pro. Instantly kills me again, dude. Uh, gotta be really careful about that. Thought they were about to make the rookie mistake of bringing it, bringing it to middle, which I'm totally fine if they do it, because it's not so... It's really unoptimal. <laughs> it's like one of the most unoptimal things you can do in this game. Oh! Uh, splash Well, not splash shot. Sploosh. Alright, I'm gonna pick it up here. That's fine, I got this. Did I just see someone drop here? I just wanna be sure. Something that you can do is like shooting the Raymaker into the sky and then shooting another shot. It kind of, it can be a thing to confuse the enemy team and make it seem like you've shot two shots at the same time and then they kind of explode simultaneously, uh, which is kind of good. It's actually pretty good. Uh, also, I, th I guess like a Raymaker tip while I'm using it right now uh, is always to try to be shooting the Raymaker as much as possible. Like this is like one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Um, and you can get a lot of quick, easy kills up and around stuff, so... Uh, by just doing that simply, it really does... I mean, at first it gets a bunch of paint on the floor, but also you have the chance of, uh... What's that called? Getting some really weird and, you know, really lucky kills at some point, because... Uh, fighting... I mean, fighting with that is... It's, it's really good. It's really good. Alright, now, we're in a really bad position, so I'm actually just straight up backing up. Uh, we already have 13... We've already scored 13, which is great, which is really great, but uh, the only thing about this is, uh, you know, we can kind of give, we, it's good to score amount, the amount that we have because it gives us leeway, you know, so we can, we have uh, more opportunity to back up. I just really not, didn't want to get shot by the Elia, so <laughs> got hit, unfortunately, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, I backed up intentionally there just so... Uh, we can defend in a better position. I mean, I gave myself to Elita, which is was not great, but uh, it happened. Uh, there's only 20 seconds left. At situations like this, there's real, really no need for us to even pick up the Raymaker. So at this point, I'm just gatekeeping it. Uh, we do not need to pop it. I'm not going to. They're gonna, they're gonna try to. They're gonna try to, but we're gonna try and stop them as soon as they try to try to pick it up. So either way, that was a. Solid match, just some just straight up tips, facts, what you should be doing uh, in general Raymaker play. Uh, I guess like everything else comes with uh, knowing your Raymaker paths and all that type of stuff. But, you know, I think uh, that's a great way to, you know, look at how you should be playing Raymaker, guys. So, yeah, shall see you guys in the next lobby. All right, guys, here we are once again within the realm of Raymaker. Uh, hopefully we get Muscle Forge Fitness. Perfect. Thank you very much, Splatoon Gods. Because I want to tell you guys the direction of where you want to be pushing. Like, because I didn't even get to pick up the Raymaker the last time, which is, you know, it'd be like that. But, you guys, you want to be always pushing this Raymaker on the right side. I can't tell you guys enough how tilting it is as a teammate to see someone try to pick up the Raymaker and they bring it towards the middle. Please... As you watch this video, do not ever do that. Ever. Ever. I don't want to see... I want to... Like, everybody... Who, if you're in the premiere chat, I want... You, you need to say right now that I will never push to the right. Or not to the right. Push through the middle. <laughs> God damn it. You, I will never push through the middle of the map ever again because dude said... And it's also just because it's really bad too. Alright? Please don't do that. There's so many bad things for why. Because look, the obvious thing... The spawn is there, and the, your enemy team are going to fall right on you. It's not good to do that, I swear. It's just, it is just the worst when you have the Rainmaker, of course, so. Uh, gonna kill that guy, perfect. Nice, two kills here. We push through to right. Now, 
just saying because we push like why you shouldn't push through the middle on the map like the obvious thing the spawn like you should be noticing on a lot of different maps guys is that if the enemy team full oh no dang it i missed those shots but if the enemy team literally spawn on you in a rainmaker path it should be a it should be a thing that clocks in your head that hey i probably shouldn't push the rainmaker here okay i shouldn't so I'm not going to do that ever again. Now, thankfully, my teammates right now, they're doing an amazing job. This guy is actually holding a Rainmaker. He's just suppressing. He's just shooting the Rainmaker. He's not trying to commit to a push. And he's waiting for our teammates to come back into the map, which is great. I love to see that. I don't actually see that so much. I, I mean, honestly, this game type is one of the most tilting game types, in my opinion. Because uh, so, uh, there's, there's a bunch of ridiculous and really suspect plays that a lot of people do in this game type, which annoys the hell out of me. I can't tell you enough how anno like how annoying it can be. Now, there's a guy right there. Uh, I'm not even too sure if we're going to be able to get this, but... Uh, yep, we're dead. <laughs> well, we got four kills. Well, not four kills. We got a 2-4, so, you know. Either way. Everyone's squid batting next to me. Even my even my own teammates. <laughs> Alright, but, yes. Uh, take that as a note, like a ground rule for every single map in the game. That you should not be pushing the Raymaker. Uh, if, like, literally every, like, basically literally, um... Oh god. Jeez. Like, literally if this, the enemy team spawns on you. Is that a bomb that just killed me? That's crazy, dude. Alright, well, it's just a tri shit that we gotta look, look out for. Uh, at this point, we should probably pick it up and try and bring it downwards to the middle. It's only one guy we have to worry about, but, um, yeah, just shoot him out. There we go. I'm actually just, we can just wait for this thing to reset. I'm perfectly fine with doing that. Uh, that's a splashdown, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, you can tell, especially because that is just a roller and roller has splashdown, so. There we go. We already got two deads. I kind of want to pick up the Raymaker again. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Follow me. Doing it because there's one guy behind us, only one in front of us. Uh, and it's better to probably push the Raymaker on their side so our teammates can actually uh, go ahead and pick up or paint up middle a little bit. Uh, this guy's waiting here for whatever reason. He should probably make his way towards the middle, which is uh, the better option. <laughs> That's all I can really say. It seems like they're trying to go from right side, middle. What are these guys trying to do? I don't know. I'm just watching. Okay. So, you see what this guy is doing. I think he's trying to commit to going towards middle. Not a good idea. Go not a good idea at all. If I, if I was on his team, I would be shouting at him right now. But, gladly, he's not on my team. Oh, oh. You gotta stop that. Nice. Oh my god. That was uh, <laughs> a little close. A little too close. Cool. We have time to stop this. We should pop this. We need to pop it. We need to pop it. We need to pop it. Shoot the guys. Shoot it. Perfect. Oh. Okay. Good. 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 Jeez. That was very, very close. <laughs> we're, we're making this game a little, a lot more closer than it needs to be. And it's scaring me. So, uh, make sure you paint the map, guys. I swear, if they try to go middle, with after all, after all, after praising them so much, if they try to go to middle, I'm just going to be very mad. Um. But either way, we're stopping them. We don't exactly need to move. We need to just take it towards the bottom right side of the map, which is totally fine with me. Uh, we can just easily pop this, I think. Yep. Nice. All right. Jeez. <laughs> uh, they were almost giving me a heart attack there, but uh, we won the game either way, which is great. That's what I want to see. And uh, yeah, that's just, uh, I guess, some more ground rules of Rainmaker. Like, if... Literally, the enemy spawn uh, will spawn in the path of the Rainmaker. It, 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 there's no point of going to that in the, that general direction. So, anyways, I shall see you guys in the next game. All right, guys, here we are going into yet another game. So hopefully, we get the other map. So it's just for some map variety, speaking it into existence. Hell yeah, Humpback Pump Track. That's the next map. Uh, so this is a okay there's lag in this game but this is another map that uh i kind of want to talk about which is great that why it's in the rotation oh okay well i'll talk to you guys a bit <laughs> all right take two guys let's try and get this game going hopefully we get humpback contract if we get muscle fortune well oh well 
Yep. Oh, well. All right. So here we are. Uh, I'm going to try and pick up the Rainmaker a little bit more, if that helps. Um... That guy's name's called the Kyle Nator, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, we've got a bunch of rollers here, we got his end zap, that's kind of nice. Uh, I kind of want these guys to be a little bit more aggro. I mean, I, I'm a Smash Up Pro, I don't really want to be picking up the Raymaker, but... I mean, you know, if I if the time comes if, and I can and I have to pick it up, then, you know, I'm just going to have to kind of do it. Uh, I'm just trying to help my teammate here. Right, just go in, dude. You might die, but it's... Wow, he almost, like... We almost just won doing that, dude. Wow. No, the Tent Umbrella. Alright, everyone transition to the left side. That should be an easy kill there. Nicely done. Uh, that was very, very easily pushed uh, from our teammates. It's been... I mean, yeah, it's... It's just the power of going right, like, right side. Like, if you go middle... It's just not- it legit is nothing but bad, so please stop doing that, guys. I don't want to see it ever again. Well, don't even think about it, don't even think about it. I'm just shooting this guy's shield, so he doesn't think about trying to go where I think he might be trying to go. Alright, so, either way, uh, I'm pushing through middle, because I don't have a Rainmaker, so I can. I have the, what you call the pass. Oh, that's a roller. <laughs> I have the pass to do it. Uh, it doesn't help that I die. <laughs> it really doesn't. Uh, if I had known that was actually the roller, then that would have gone a lot better. But I made the mistake and I thought it was something else. I should have known because he had a- he threw the curling bomb, but obviously I wasn't thinking about it. Either way, shoot the shields! Shoot the shield! It's a tent. Get rid of the shields. Alright, no more bubbles. That bubble's literally gonna go off the map. I'm gonna tow the point sensor there so my Rainmaker kinda knows where to- Angle his shots, if he wants to shoot. Oh, that spider shot is just weak. There he goes. Another dead. Oh, oh, the dude fell off the map. I got you, dude. Oh, they're all dead. Alright. I'm literally just throwing the point sensor off. They're gonna come in- they're gonna come in mo being marked, so... <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he, like, rage quit or something, but he just definitely just DC'd that. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'll take it, dude. That's a hey, hey, we got disconnected, and then they disconnected at the end of the game. I think they actually still lose points for that because uh, that might have just been a rage crit. And yeah, I think that we were just probably gonna win anyway. So, hey, we won. That always, that's always good. Let's go to the next game. Right here we are again. Okay, guys. So we played four games. Four games already. Oh my god, it's Muscle Forge again. All right. Well. At least I get to tell you guys more why you should be going to the right side of the map when playing on this in this uh, particular mode. It. Oh god, what was that? Uh, sorry, I heard some sounds. But uh, yeah, you really need to be going to the right side of the map uh, again. I'm starting to run out of things to say because you know you should be going to the right side of the map. What is this? Don't go middle. All right. Um, watching this, easy kill. Toss the point sensor, I know the Raymaker's there. I don't exactly know... Oh, there is a guy right here. I'll shoot you, dude. I know you're weak, so I'll just kind of basically fight it. He had to get like two hits on me anyway, so... Uh, we would... Well... Is that a... That was, must have been a bomb rush. What was that? That was our bomb rush, I think. Alright. Guy is dead. There's just not a lot of opportunities for me to really pick up the Raymaker, because I have such a good weapon for... Slaying and killing people, so... I'm like... Oh my gosh. Kill him! Kill him! Hell yeah, dude, another game! <laughs> guys, this is what you asked for. I'm just bringing what you guys wanted. <laughs> oh god, we're gonna get a bunch of quick Raymaker games. Like, can I pick up the Raymaker for once? Can I? Is there going to be a team comp where we have a bunch of slayers so where I can pick up the Raymaker or something? That would be very, very nice. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next lobby. Ah, okay, here we go again. <laughs> oh my god, man, I don't know what to say. So here we go again. Finally, we get Humpback Punch Track. Hopefully there's no disconnections this time. Uh, is this game six? I don't know. If it is, then sick. If it's not, then, well, what can I say? 
Either way, let's get it on. Let's get it on with. Hopefully, I get to pick up the Raymaker. We have a much more aggressive comp, but we're gonna still try pop the Raymaker as fast as can. Uh, the Dynamo, Dynamos cannot really pick pop Raymaker so fast. Uh, Tenderbella can't really pick pop the Raymaker so fast, but it's really great uh, in leading the Raymaker. So that's something we gotta, I guess, worry about or watch for. Oh god, don't die to it though. Yeah, we don't want to die to it. So we know a Dynamo's on the left side. We know there's one in their spawn. It seems like there's a path being created right now. So I'm going to pick the Raymaker up. This is my opportunity. Please kill that guy. Oh my gosh. Hello? Somebody help! Okay, cool. <laughs> I, had to, I had to skill the, the ink job there. But I'm just being very careful because that guy can uh, do some damage. Maybe I'll just run it. I think we just run it. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I ran it a little bit. I knew I was going to die at some point, but we pushed it to 16, and pushes like that are always uh, good to get. Um, as long as everybody's up from our team and we can get like a good pop uh, afterwards, that's always not so bad. It's not the worst thing in the world, so, you know, I'm okay with that. I think it's actually pretty good if uh, the team that we have, it's probably the best thing to just like pick it up and... Uh, I'm dead. Pick it up and just like die with it, in a way, and, uh, oh, of course, you, you love to see it, guys. It looks, seems like there is another disconnection on the other team, so it seems like Humpback Pump Track is uh, just the map where disconnections are not supposed to, disconnections are just not the one, but, you know what, I'm just gonna keep rolling with it, because I really don't care, <laughs> I really don't care right now, because, you know, you guys pick this weapon, you guys pick this, I'm holding the Raymaker now, I'm tearing it up with it, or at least trying to. Look at this. Hopefully we don't die to this guy. Alright, my teammates got them. Uh, I'm just being very safe and careful. Died to a bomb. Yeah, it's swept way too soon. But they should be able to pop it instantly anyway, so it doesn't matter. Pop it. End the game. Never mind. I'm gonna jump. I'm probably gonna jump and die. Yep, jump and die. No, no problem. Alright, well the game is gonna continue. Uh, I'm just gonna continue this game, guys. I don't even know what to say. I mean, we'll, we'll just continue the game off. It's gonna go how it, however it goes. Actually, I'm gonna stop this game, and I'll see you guys in the next one because it's just you kind of already know how this is gonna go. Okay, guys. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm making this the last game. All right. And I'm going to try and pick the Raymaker up. If it's possible, then sick. If it's not, then yeah. I think it's Curse on or well, something about Humpback Pump Track. Pump, I can't pump back. I can't even say the thing. Pump Track is just cursed. All right. So we're just going to continue to work out in Muscle Ford Fitness. All right. And do a little bit of work climbing. All right. So let's pop this thing. We should be able to pop it with an Elite Shot. Never mind. Not necessary. Uh, I'm pushing all the way to the left. Oh god, alright, we're losing players already. And we only have the Elia right now. Uh, I'm just tossing the cloud because I'm being pressured hard. I should have just, like, played a little bit faster there because, um... I was very, very slow to actually respond to that. Not the greatest. Our Elia is jumping back, that's good. Uh... It's not the greatest map to, for him to be playing this weapon on. Uh, good stop. Alright, cool. Sick. Love to see it. Uh, do we get more of this? I don't know, but we can always try. Uh, we need to pop the Raymaker straight away. Oh god, that is a Dynamo. Dynamo is dead. That's great. Uh, we're gonna be able to move these people out, so... Okay, good. We need to pick it up and get it out there. Nice. Hopefully, I mean, I wish our Elio was the one that picked it up, because he can do a lot more for our team, uh, holding it. Because right now, I don't think he's going to do be able to do, even do much. It's going to be very minor with the amount he's going to do. The diamond's over there. Guy in front of me, guy right here too. Oh my god, that's very frustrating. That is very, very frustrating. Very, very, very frustrating. Because I can... I literally could have just killed the guy. I'm being very slow about this though. There's a guy up there. The dynamo. I'll take- Oh, yes! I killed him just before you could kill me. Uh, our Raymaker is pretty much pressured pretty hard, but I saw everybody on their team 
rotate to the right side. And I'm doing this as a flank. The dynamo's here now. Ooh. Cool. The marks. Oh, I'm hitting. Pull. Cool. Everyone go. Everyone is dead. I don't know who that is. That's the charger. Oh, I don't want to die here. I can hear them. I can hear them. Toss the cloud. We got two clouds coming in, dude. That's actually, that's so good. You need to come up. You need to follow us already, dude. Go, go, go. All the way. We got a lead and we take it, dude. The flank was just enough. Guys, that was good. That's a good way to, that's a great way to come back, honestly. So I'm happy about that one. All right, that was a well spotted out flank. We saw I, we saw every, the, everyone on the other team uh, literally went to the right side, so we took advantage of that. Our cloud had our game had literally nothing but cl clouds. <laughs> Dang. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the plaza. Right, guys, so that is tearing it up with the rainmaker. Now we didn't, of course, get to use the weapon, the rainmaker, that much, but I mean, I'm just gonna be real with you guys. Uh, I don't think it's a smart thing. Uh, for me to go in a game, grief, and just pick up the Rainmaker because you guys told me to. It's just, it's, it's not a smart, that's not how you play Rainmaker. Like, you, there's obviously situations where, yeah, you pick up the Rainmaker and it's a, it will be a good opportunity to. And there's also situations where you should actually learn how to control the Rainmaker and just not pick it up as randomly and all that type of stuff. Because, as you see, playing it the way I just did there, that's gonna, that's gonna be the thing that's how, that's, gonna win you those Rainmaker games and all that type of stuff so uh I mean I hope this episode in general if like you guys had like Rainmaker troubles is actually a thing that probably helped you in a way because I don't think there's really many decent Rainmaker guides but I think I kind of went through everything uh literally everything to know about Rainmaker pretty well so uh yeah take that trolls <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much everyone for watching this video make sure in the comment section below to tell me a weapon that i could actually tear it up with and actually use it for the actual episode uh, i thought this was just fun to do because why not and most people recommended it so here i am and uh honestly yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like favorite comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not already Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of your fee and generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button next to the subscription button to let you guys know whenever I upload a video. Also, consider joining my public Discord to join uh, the Dude Society community, talk to myself, and also be notified whenever I go live for a Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash that SRB2 dude. So, thank you very much everyone for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I shall see you guys in a future video.